Brad's joining us from the Salk Institute this morning. Good morning to you, Brad. Hey, guys, my parents made me work, so. I yeah, what, what was your first job? My first job was, uh, well, actually, first job was working my dad's funeral home. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, my dad's a mortician, so I, I moved around bodies. And then I went to an ice cream shop. Well, mm. so, that's a change. Yeah, jump there. <laughs> 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 and now I'm over here maybe jumping to being a scientist because over at the Salk Institute, they are making breakthrough in some amazing things. We've been talking all morning about this with Jan here about the breakthrough in chemotherapy medicine here and a way to reduce maybe the dosage to find it. And on the screen here is an example here. Let's talk about what we have on the screen. What we see here on the screen is one human cell and the blue things you see here are the so-called chromosomes, which is where our hereditary material is. So the blue is the DNA, these are the chromosomes, and the green dots are the telomeres, these ends of the chromosome. And what you see in red here is what these drugs like Taxol and Velcade, these chemotherapeutics, what they actually do. Because what they do is they attack the chromosome ends, the telomeres, which we can visualize in red, and that causes a stress response in the cell, and that is what actually kills the cell eventually but and you guys have gone to pinpoint where now they can go in and actually try to cut the doses and get these cells that are causing the cancer well that is the hope that now that we know what these drugs exactly do that they cause such a stress response we can take a synergistic approach where we exactly target that stress response and hopefully that will allow us to do much more effective treatment and we got to mention what Salk Institute does you guys are kind of like the beginning of it all without you we wouldn't get to the next step and what is the next step after this so th that's very correct so without basic research there is really nothing will happen there are no no development of therapy without understanding what's going on so nothing without basic research the next step here would be to test our hypothesis that synergistic approaches will be more effective and after that it has to be developed into the clinic and this is where we do not come in very much because then the fda gets involved and it becomes very complicated yeah so that's where you guys go to either maybe to a uh a a private institute, a donor, somebody who wants to see this research go more, or out to those companies that actually do this kind of stuff to take it to the next level, which is so important. Yeah, that's correct. Then it goes to the pharma industry and, and it can be developed further. But really what I want to emphasize is that without the basic explanation and the basic knowledge that we develop and we provide, there will be no next step. And I'll tell you, David and Alexis Solk is doing so much here, this institute in our own backyard. And again, like I said, without basic researching, without doing this, you know, we wouldn't find this kind of stuff. And two years, it took Jan and his team to uh, actually pinpoint, which is wonderful. And that way, hopefully, we can reduce some of the chemotherapy uh, treatments to make sure people are getting healthier again quicker and uh, to maybe fight some of these battles that we're seeing. Wow, they are incredible, mm -hmm. Brad, and we are so thankful for the work that they do. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. All right.